in line with our super quick easy to use canva apps we are looking at one today that can create some confetti for you this is great to use as a background to your social media graphics um, you can use it for maybe a birthday invite because it's confetti it just looks really fun um, so I thought it would be nice just to show you how to use this it's an app it's in canva and it's called confetti right so here we are back on my desktop heading over to the app section confetti we are typing in select confetti it's this one here it's a very simple app in canva but it can look really effective i'm going to click using a new design and we're going to go for an instagram post but you can put this into any of your designs that you currently have ongoing so this is the confetti now it gives you six types of confetti if you don't want to use them all you just want flowers for example or you just want suns or stars stars and suns maybe crosses you don't want the others you just want some crosses an eye not an, an eye eye it's more like a leaf shape but it's called an eye and an arc so a semicircle you can have any combination of these that you want you can have all of them together if you want or none or just one you can you cannot have um, none obviously but you can have one or up to six if you want so i've gone for the stars and the suns i quite like them i think they're good um good elements for a confetti background now underneath it gives me a density option if i want them to have a little bit more space around them i can choose a lower number if i want them to be really full and cluttered and busy go for a higher number six is probably about nice and again i can do the same for the size i can have my density at six but i can make them smaller or I can make them really big and fill the page. But I'm gonna go with a three. I quite like a three, so not too dense. Now, size range. This changes the size range of them. So you again, you can have it really big or you can have them really small. So as you can see, some of the stars and some of the suns are very big and some are very small. So it just gives you the option to have some big, some small. So if I go for a six, we've got a bit of a happy medium there. And then we have position ratio. So as you can see, it starts to tidy them up into a grid. We don't want a grid. We want crazy and messy. So I'm going to go for an eight. I quite like this pattern. I've picked my type of confetti my density, my size, my size range of them and where they are positioned. OK, so now I can click add to design or if I'm not happy, generate again and it will put it back to the reset. I'm going to click add to design because I quite like this. Now, this is an element. It is not an image. So when you right click, you do not have the set image to background. This is good because if i make this a bit bigger i can use this as my background but the reason it's good is because i can change the colors okay so these are the five colors that canva have put in for me which are amazing i love these pastel colors but i don't have to have them if i don't want to click on a color my color palette opens i can now change these to my brand colors let's do that so i now have a confetti background that i can now use in my designs however i want in my brand colors i've got um, other color packs that i can use here i i can use the colors that they gave me i can use the default colors or i can find completely different colors myself and use some from here as well. I'm actually going to go with 
my color palette i think i like that if you're not entirely happy with it again like the other apps that we have looked at the settings will stay here on the left hand side so you can change them and edit them and put them put the new design into your template it's not set in stone if you don't like it you delete it and start again but I actually like this. I think this is going to work really well as a background. And another thing, we if we don't, if we're using it as a background and we're thinking it's a bit bright, I've used my brand colors, but I, if I add text on top of this, the text isn't going to be overly readable. It's an element, so you can change the transparency. You can have it just slightly transparent or you can have it fully transparent if you wanted but that would then mean you've not you've lost your confetti background but you can just change the transparency so now you can add some text over the top and you can use it as a background in canva what you can also do is change the actual color of the background so say we wanted to go for for pink for example because the confetti has a transparent background you can had any color background into it you want as well there we go it's matching my jumper i love this app i love the fact that i can create my own fun shaped background it's called confetti in canva i can make it any color i want i can change the shapes i can change the sizing i've got lots of freedom here over what i want to do with it and then i can use it in any of my designs in canva so I hope you've enjoyed that. I would love to see what you create, how you create your own confetti using this app in Canva. Please do come and join the YouTube channel. We have lots and lots of videos going on, lots of videos in the channel to help you in any way you could possibly think about in Canva. And we've got lots more going forward. So do make sure you join the channel and make sure you come and join the Facebook group, Create on Canva as well. And I will see you in the next video.